In this step, we're going to take a look at the orthographic views in Maya, and then we're going to import an image plane that we can use as a reference for the next shape that we're going to create. So what I'm going to do is I'll stick an explanation of what the orthographic views are on screen so that I don't have to bore you with that. And I'm going to show you how you can access it. So the toolbar way is to click on this area here. So you can see you've got a four view and by default, the four views it gives you will be your perspective view here and then three orthographic views. So you've got a top view, which looks straight down a front view and a side view. You can also, if I just go back to my perspective view, you can quickly access them by tapping the space bar. So if I try that now, you can see that that will then jump into the four view. Then if you want to make any of these views full screen, if you just put your cursor in it, so for instance, if I choose this side view and tap space bar again, that will then full screen that view. And you can nip in and out of your views just like that. The view that I'm interested in is the side view because we're going to put the side of the table underneath here and we're going to import an image plane. I have an image plane reference already prepared which you can access by using the link in the description below or feel free to make and use your own. So the way that we're going to import this image plane is to click on view in the panel menu and then near the bottom there's an image plane section. And from that, we can choose import image. If you have your project set up correctly, you should be taken straight to the source images folder of that project. But if not, you'll just need to navigate to it. If you're using my images, then you'll just need to make sure that you've dropped them in the source images folder of your project. There will probably be a, a lot more images to choose from in the project that you've downloaded from me because I'll just keep adding things as I go and this is where all the textures will be. But for now, we just need this table leg reference. So if we click on open, you can see that gives us this, which provides us an outline that we can follow. Whilst it's still new, we can use the scale and move tools to put it into place. So what I'm gonna do is just roughly get this set up. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a guide and I can move it when I'm done. There we go. So as I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, but this is just going to provide us with an outline of the shape that we can follow in the next step when we are going to be modeling this table leg. So now that you have used the orthographic views and imported an image plane, you're now ready to move on to the next step. I'll see you there. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.